of women filming men subtly looking at them in gyms it's absolutely insane if i was a man i would just go to an all male gym if a man checks me out in the gym i'm just gonna smile back or if i don't like him i'm just gonna move away i'm not gonna whip out my iphone and then blast him on social media it's like me too gone mad gone crazy but it's funny because i'm actually seeing the repercussions of this i saw another video go viral of a girl doing a squat with the rack and she's stuck in that position and she can't get back up and nobody is helping her. The man isn't gonna risk everybody <laughs> laughing at him and calling him a creep by actually going over to help her. Well, these are now the repercussions because when a woman actually does need help, men won't help because they're terrified of being blasted on social media for sexual harassment. And if I was a man, I wouldn't do it either. I'd stay away from these women, they're crazy. Let's go! With this movement of, I guess, uh, feminist slash um, strong, independent women, and then goes over to women that think that all men are, I guess, I wouldn't say pedophiles, but I guess, what's, what's the word I'm thinking of, Trey? Men are all creepers or whatever they are. Do you think it's hurting them or helping them with these um, gym situations? With the gym situation, I have seen guys who've been creeping, bro. I have seen guys who've been creeping. I mean, but at the same time, this is what I've been talking to a lot of guys about is uh, this goes into the dick discipline. And we're going to focus on the men. We're going to focus on the men. The men can have more control. I mean, your yeah, ass is there. Uh, it might be a nice body or they're working out or whatever. But you can look and not stare. You can not follow. Like, it gets creepy when you start following and stuff like that. But uh, a lot of women are <laughs> a lot of women are on that on that wave. What where it's mean, like, what do you mean as far as creeping? What does that mean? Creeping, it's a it's a thin line because a lot of guys are like trying to think of what to say to approach the girl, right? <laughs> We're trying to think of what to say to approach the woman. They're uh, trying to wait for the right moment and all that stuff. And the whole time you're doing this, you're anticipating this. The, the woman knows, you know what I mean? Like, see her peripheral is up, even with the headphones on, so you can sense, like, you can feel when somebody's looking at you. And if she didn't look and saw you looking at her, it's been 20 minutes now. Now it's like, okay, this is creepy because I don't know what your intentions are. I don't know what's going to happen. If I go outside, you can follow me, you know, and a lot of the, the men, the men, the men, the men's men, Wow. The men's mindset is that, you know, I'm going to just catch her when she's by herself and go ahead and talk to her type thing. You know, like, he ain't really, most of the time, I can't speak for all guys, but most of the time, guys are not thinking on that wave. They just procrastinate and missing the opportunity. If you want to talk to her, just talk to her. But uh, it does get creepy because the ones who, like, quiet, creeping, looking in the corner, you know, it's like they're plotting out a move. You don't know what they're plotting. You don't know what the move is. And it makes the woman feel uncomfortable. What you, what you got, Keys? What you got? Own experience, for real. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come on with it. I think, I think a lot of it. A lot of it. Extra far as, you know, these women taking out their camera. Go away from what they're concentrating on and their exercise to film men looking at them. Half the time, mm -hmm. half the time, these these women in these in these trend videos, they go in the gym looking for attention. Like, mm -hmm. would you be pulling out a camera trying to catch a man looking at you? Because you know that's what we're gonna do. Like, I, I look at women in the gym. I'm not over in the corner like behind the uh, the bench press set, like looking through the people and then like, but. Say say I'm at at a weight machine and you in front of the mirror and you doing squats and shit. What I'm supposed to do is like Stevie Wonder act like I don't see you and shit yeah. like that. Like I I don't know, man. I, I like I like I, I appreciate I appreciate the women coming in the gym, you know, 
wearing stuff that accents that that accents their features, you know, their curves and whatnot. Because it it's like motivation to me. Like I was like, all right, let me get, let me get on my shit. Let me do ten more reps on this weight that I ain't never did before. But she she inspired me, so I'm gonna try it. Like so, I think there's nothing wrong with it. Like that's 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 what we that's what we're attracted to. We gonna look like, and they gonna look too. I ain't saying spare. Like I don't know what what how long a look defines creeping, but. Mm-hmm. You know, half the time they wearing them Lululemons that that's tight as hell. They wearing you know mid something that you know shows their midriff or whatnot, and they got their boobs out and shit. So I don't know. It's it's hard not to look. I ain't saying stare, but you know I don't see nothing wrong with looking. That's just my perspective. Mm-hmm. Yo, G, what, what you got? G, what you got? Me. Is it me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh shoot! I mean, um, you know, this is my field. So I, I, I've worked in the gym. I've been in the gym a long time, long time. Um, I've seen the progression over the years, and the gym ain't nothing but a strip club. To be honest, I've been to every gym, and I think we we've just came to um, we forgot animalistic um, case uh characteristic with each other uh women want mm. attention uh men like uh like looking at attention um i think we've gone to we we relinquished a lot of accountability on women when it comes to men looking at women in the gym i mean it's in our dna to look at women it's our dna to look at how they look their hair they they, they breast they ass everything where is in our dna so I can't always fault men for doing what they do because that's just how it is. You can have a man that's deadly in love with their wife at home, but they still gonna look. What's the phrase? Uh, I can look but not touch. Look, but don't touch. Uh huh. So it, it's just the 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 way the clothing has been changed as far as going with gym. There's no accountability to it. I mean, I, everybody has seen. I mean, everybody's wearing two tops. I mean, half the half the titties is out when they go work out. They done got them. What's them pants y'all be seeing? Y'all be seeing them scrunchy pants that it look like it's a thong. <laughs> but it's, but it's, it, it has the y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know what they call, but it's like you can see, you see the whole line to it. Yeah. So, uh, and, then, and then how you can you blame a man that has full of testosterone is getting bigger? Is of course it's pause. It's like it's your testosterone is growing, and especially you working out, and you're seeing stuff. But then I'm, and then you're the, we're the weird ones because it's sitting right there. It's like, it's right there. What do you, I mean, the only way he can not see is, even if you walk in the gym, it's everywhere. What I'm supposed to do, like, just close my eyes, like, I can't see. Oh, I can't. It's everywhere. And then as soon as you ask for attention or you know what you're wearing, as soon as you see something, oh, it's always the man's fault. Oh, why he looking? Why not look? What do you, I mean, I'm not, how can I not look? It don't it don't make no sense, and I think it's contradicting that oh uh, I can't look now I can't look at you now, but you will post the same picture, and then we get to look at it on Instagram the same way we're looking at it right now. What's the difference? There is no difference. It's the difference is that person. The man, yeah, the man is the man is just gonna look and see right there. So that, I think mean, there's no accountability no more. It's, I think it goes in the realm with. You you wrong if you don't do it. You wrong if you do. You wrong. It ain't gonna make no difference. It's gonna be it's gonna be the men's fault at the end of the day, regardless of what they wear. The difference is is in person, and you know you know me two can play that game. So great jog is no draws in that booth. Yeah, the nobody's gonna pay this. Yeah, nobody's the gonna difference. pay that. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's not the same. <laughs> I don't know. I missed it. I missed it. But he was, it sounded like he was preaching. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I've gotten looks and stuff too. And um, like you said, everybody got eyes, man. So I don't, I don't fault for nobody for looking. You know what I mean? Like, I don't fault nobody for looking. It's it, If I can enhance the creepy, it's not so much the looking, it's the motive. Like, what's your attention like you getting closer and closer you know what i'm saying it's like you're not even working out no more you just over there like getting the show type thing um the only thing i would say is uh try to stay focused on the main reason why you came there and that's working out are you still here you ain't subscribed yet
Hit that button, my man. Hit that button and subscribe. Um, I've never... And I've had a situation where it's like, uh, started in a sports bra and them little, little shorts. And she had like a stomach tattoo and she was doing ab work. And I was looking at the tattoo and didn't even realize I winded up looking over top of it. She took her headphones off. I was like, oh. And I was like, oh, I was reading the tattoo. And I thought it said Thug Life. I thought she was Tupac Jr. You know what I mean? I ain't know. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't on no, I wasn't on that wave. You know what I mean? And it never was no disrespect, and she didn't take it as disrespect. So I don't know. I think the creep part is just a feeling. Uh, it's more of an intuition type thing, which men and women have. Um, it's a, a internal, like what's your internal intention? But going to the clothing, you do know what you're doing. And I, it, same thing, Keith, it's motivation. You know what I mean? You know what you're doing. You know what time you came. You know what I mean? You know, it, you saw the crowd meter on the app. You know that John said is packed in here. And you had to come when it was packed. You're looking for attention. A lot of Jones don't even do a full workout. You know, did six it's reps like, and two it's, sets. Hey, it's the squat rack and then pictures. That's all it is. Hey, look, you know I, mean? I got a question for y'all. So what I hear is women say, like, that stuff is more comfortable, right? That's why they wear mm -hmm. it. I, w I was against it until I just noticed I went to Ross the other day and I tried to, I thought about buying some shorts. You're like, y'all know, like, I only do basketball yeah. shorts and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't really you wear the compression shorts. shorts. Bro, the guy's shorts is just as short as the girl's shorts. Yeah. So it's like, yo, like, hold on, like, you can play that game. I'm squatting now, hey. it's two. You like, what the world? You know what I'm saying? So you it's like, it's. If it, I Go ahead. No, I said if I went to the gym in my drawers, I'd be comfortable too. <laughs> but to they're not in drawers though; they're in shorts. That, no, that's you're what, just that's what you're talking about. Comfortable. You just talk about comfortability. I mean, <laughs> that's what it, it's starting to get. Like, bro, you seen some of these guys out? Like, we seen them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, bro, they in the same what you call it, Lulu, Lulu Mon or whatever. Lulu <laughs> like they got me in Lulu Mon or something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Le leaving nothing to the imagination. And look, and, and right. like Trace they out here showing off and everything too. The women, right. you know what I'm saying? I think for me, um, I think like Trey said, I think it's about intention and speaking to the fellas. Um, especially you see some a woman that that look good or whatever. I think when you start just keep staring that's mm -hmm. when it, it kind of make like just imagine somebody just staring at you but they're not saying nothing you know what i'm saying that feel that might feel a little uncomfortable but if you go mm -hmm. over there and then you talk to them you know what i'm saying like you catch them in between they rep they, this kind of go into the you know trying to you know uh holler at a woman or whatever you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like I, and i and i told trey about this too like to me you got like a five second count or like mm -hmm. looking at a woman and then you got to decide either you approach them or you don't because now you lingering you but, know what i'm but, saying but while while she's working out is it appropriate at all to, to approach her like i would catch them in between the set catch them in between they set you know what i'm saying on they on they break i just matter of fact uh it was the um something came up on my youtube um it, it's this guy and he was talking about like the the places to approach women at, and he stayed at the gym and he said the best way to approach them is in between they set, they rest in period, or like on their way out. Now, if it's late at night, that on the way out might be a little <laughs> tricky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you catch them, you catch them in between. And Trey been with me like, yo, me, like Trey seen like, yo, like I don't wait. <laughs> and I go so like, yo, what's going on? Like yo, I like that extra. Like you, and it, it, most of the time, I think it depends on the energy you come with as well. It's, it's been well received for me. You know what I'm saying? I haven't mm -hmm. had the issues, but also to speak to the woman side, some women out here just insecure. You know what I'm saying? Some women been through some things and they got these traumas and they think everybody after them. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I think what we what we kind of dealing with is one hand, women, some women or people have insecurities and just because somebody looking at them, it triggers like, oh, they they want something they want not something out of me or they're trying to be a creep or something like that but then you got the other side of the equation where guys just looking and they probably more than likely want to talk to the woman 
but they're not making their mind up and making a decision to go talk to them. So now you just keep making eye like she might look at you and you break eye contact and like you ain't you know what I'm saying? Like she look at you and, and you just wave at her or something. You know what I'm saying? Like let her know, like yo, what's up? Like yo, like or a thumbs up, like yo, keep up the good work. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like Right. Something to acknowledge it when you just look in and then they look at you and you turn it away or you just staring at them, that look creepy. You know what I'm saying? But I don't I'm think right. what I don't think with the with some of the like I seen like a couple of these videos, I didn't see guys doing that. I just seen them like, oh, she looked good, and they look at them at the mirror and then they get back to their workout and they like, oh, look at this creep and stuff like that. Like, no, nah, they mm -hmm. OD. You know what I'm right. saying? Like y'all got right. that's that's some that's some issues that y'all got going on, and that's just something we ain't seeing. But otherwise, you know what I'm saying? To my fellas out there, man, you see somebody up in the gym you like or whatever. Even if you got a situation, yo, you can compliment them like, yo, man, like you doing a good job with them workouts or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just let them know like you ain't on no creep type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like encourage them along or something, or, or like, yo, how you do that workout? Like kind of break that that barrier because a lot of times guys is afraid to talk to somebody, and that's what make it even creepier. You know what I'm saying? Well, they, like, I I will say that they're afraid of talking because of all of what they're able to see now. Because uh, you approach a woman now, you make it filmed on camera, so uh, it's more into the calculation. Uh, and um, this whole movement behind it, you know, I don't ride trends anyway. Like the whole movement behind it is some bullshit. If you was to pull out your phone and catch me on camera, I'm coming leaning on your shoulder. What's up, <laughs> shouty? You know what I mean? I'm, Play it too, I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm in it. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't no, you can't, it ain't really too much of that with me. But also, my energy will show off that because for one, I talk to men and women at the gym. Mm. And uh, most people that see you, if you're consistent at the gym, then uh, consistency builds trust. So if you're consistent at the gym, even if you are peeping a little something, uh, people will be like, oh, there ain't nobody but so-and-so. He always here, da-da-da. You know what I'm saying? Talk, the, the, he talk to everybody. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The threat level will go down. Um, I don't like that. It's a threat, but that threat level will go down. You know what I mean? Um, when it comes to the the movement, though, the trend has some bullshit. A lot of people just keep on jumping on different ways. And I'm going to tell some of you shorties, you're blocking your blessings. <laughs> I'm blocking your blessings. You know what I mean? Some of the best. If y'all both in the same area doing the same thing, y'all on the same grind, y'all already got a similarity of some of the. Exactly. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you had a similar interest, a similar concept, a framework of mind, and it's something that can be built from that, especially in the gym. You know what I mean? And like Trey said, like y'all both in the gym, that shows a certain level of like self improvement that you're mm -hmm. trying to make for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like th those, the, those most of the time the people you will want to connect with, people that normally take care of their body. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't got no stats or nothing, but they seem to be more driven more ambitious, yep. you know what I'm saying, want more out of life and stuff like that. Mentally so healthy. Those are the people you probably do want to network with, even if you ain't really feeling them on that type of level. Like yeah. like, uh, like the lady said, I think the lady gave some good tips for for women and for men, because, you know, the, the women be staying at the men, too, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, right. if you ain't trying to show no interest, just stay focused on your workout, you know? And that's that's one of the things, and guys, because just kind of going into, like, picking up and, 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 and talking to women, Mm -hmm. Um, like we go to the steps and everything pretty often and work out. Shout out to the G Way steps. Um, one of the things I mm -hmm. learned is to read body language and 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 read energies. Like I can tell who want to talk when I look at them and who don't want to talk. If they if they ain't making eye contact with you, they probably don't want to talk to you. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> if you walk right by them, they probably don't want to talk to you. But if they make eye contact, they give a little way. You like, hey, how you doing? And just keep it moving at that time. And then when you come back across them, then you get, you know, like, yo, like, how often you come out here or whatever? Oh, what kind of workout are you doing? And stuff like that. Man, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like, we got to, don't let these women scare you out of talking to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yeah. you might end up on camera. It, 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 I, I can't say you won't. <laughs> I'm not saying <laughs> that, but don't. But just because these women out here, some women is out here doing it. I done met a lot of women at the gym. That was cool as hell. That's been that they ain't had no problems or nothing. That's just mm -hmm. a select few women 
that's going around that's doing that. As long as you got the pro proper jump etiquette, don't go up to nobody while they're in the middle of their set. Don't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If somebody in the middle of their squat, somebody in the middle of their whatever workout, don't interrupt them. That's bad gym etiquette. Wait till they get their break time, their rest time, and then that's when you talk to them and, you know, ask them about workout stuff or whatever. But you get your gym etiquette up. Like, don't worry about that little stuff, man. Let's, let's, that, that's just the that's just the few. If you go, if you approaching correctly, all right. Yo, who else? Um, I know we hey. coming up on that time, but go ahead. Who else got some stuff to say for it? Hey, Paul sound like hitch up this motherfucker. Like, put the <laughs> game. <laughs> now I don't want I don't want the guys to be scared of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, and I know because I was in those situations where you see somebody pretty up in the gym or whatever, and you just get caught staring. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't made your mind up to like go go. To, Either I'm going to talk to her or I'm not going to talk to her. Which one am I going to do? Make up your mind. You're going to go talk to her. Then you get caught, kind of start figuring out your plan on how you're going to approach them or whatever. But you you don't want to get caught just staring at somebody, man. Because I cause I know for me, I don't like when people just be staring at me or like I look over and feel like somebody's staring at me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yo, like, be. That's creepy. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? You just got to go, go approach them. You know what I'm saying? And don't, don't worry about what the. What, that woman or those type of women, because that's just insecurity. You know what I'm saying? They probably been through something or had some situation, and now they think anybody that look at them feel that way, and that's normally not the case. They just admiring your beauty, and it and I pre and, and it's we want to sure, appreciate, appreciate that, it. but it's a way to go about it too that don't make people feel uncomfortable. <laughs> this is why discipline and knowing yourself is so important. That's true. Um, also, going back to the nonverbal communication, you, know, you can kill them with a smile. Uh, if they do turn and see you looking, you don't have to turn away. I'm not telling you to stare, but make a gentle eye contact. The eyes tell it all. The eyes are the gateway to the soul. So uh, they can tell your intention when they look in your eyes. Uh, so don't turn. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you really, uh, you can compliment them with how you're looking at them. Chill, yeah. Man, I'm watching this video, man. You ain't subscribed yet? Man, you got about five more seconds to go and subscribe. I'm finna show up with this person right here, man. Hey, subscribe to this channel, man. We got work to do. All right, let's get back to it. You know what I'm saying? Or you can scare them away. So you can do. There's plenty of things that you can do. But as far as the women who are looking for attention, and then when you get it, don't don't act surprised when you get the type of attention that you're looking for. If you want some hoe shit, you a hoe. Bring it down real simple, huh? <laughs> you don't be hoes, so you know, and men can't be hoes. This is a fact. And also, uh, <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, I've had that unwanted attention as well before, um, and I learned not to wear certain things. It attracts certain attention. You know what I mean? <laughs> So yes, no, don't do the gray joggers. I mean, because at don't, this point, don't wear gray. Don't wear gray. Or the uh, do the track pants, because it's mad. <laughs> no, because <no. laughs> uh, the track pants, man. I got stories. It's like, yeah, no, you can't do no push-ups that day. I had some ass. So, um, <laughs> like, I, 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 being a recipient of unwanted attention, <laughs> uh, I can understand a woman who uh, is getting unwanted attention. Maybe she didn't know she looked that good. You know, to be honest, what's attractive to somebody is unattractive to somebody else. So, I mean... It could just be your normal thing. You could be in a couple. Uh, uh, you could be in a relationship, and it's like normal. You could have the assets that it don't matter what you wear. Uh, you it's gonna be showing off. You know, I have seen loose the loosest of sweatpants, and it's like oh, that John's still moving. You know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah, you and <ain't> not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be the craziest ones for real for real that's the ones that really get your attention but they got baggy sweatpants and you still see the jiggle or like they got a big shirt and you still see the jiggle what yeah. Yo. Man. So, so, so I can't just put it all on the clothing because that goes into uh, 
uh, the sexual assault victims too. It's like, yo, like, a solution as well, cover up. Well, don't wear this. And it's like, all right, well, even if they're not wearing it, it still, it still can happen, you know? So that's why I like, I preach precaution, yeah, but still being within yourself, knowing yourself, you're not going to, it's more so your energy of what's attracting. Because I, 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 cause I've seen people, I've seen women in the same type of clothing, but they're literally there to get their workout in. You know what I mean? They're literally there to get their workout in. And it's like, you know what type of time they're on. They're not, they're not to be distracted. They're not to be approached. They get their workout in and they go. They don't pull out their phone unless they're changing the song or following a workout routine or something. Um, but then you got the ones who are lingering themselves, not completing sets and, you know, doing all of this. Everything they're doing is to bend over and types, you know, like you're looking for attention. Don't be surprised when you get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They don't leave the house without knowing, though, Trey. Like, they they don't leave the house unless, like, yep, yeah, I look good. Like, so let's get it. Yeah. Uh, they don't so, uh, women don't women don't lead a, I don't, no, I don't think a uh, few women leave the house without knowing like yeah I'm that bitch <laughs> <today."> <laughs> am I right Paul uh, or am I right no they they know that's why they <laughs> I'll be wondering and Trey though I just talked about this I'm like yo like women got like a different outfit for every day of working out you know what I'm saying they they'll plan it out so they they know what they 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 know they know what they doing. You know what I'm saying? They already know, but I think to them sometimes how they feel and, and this and this is the biggest one of the biggest part about working out. It's about how you feel about yourself. So a lot of people go by that model, look good, uh, feel good, work out good. You know what I'm saying? Like so the better they look, they feel like the better the workout they're gonna get. So that that could be that's part of it, I think too. But they know they going they know how they looking good and stuff out here. And I don't got no, I, I don't got, I don't compliment the person. I might compliment some. I might be like, yo, that's a nice outfit right there, yo. Like, that that's part. Cool. You got to learn, learn, nice. learn with the compliment. Yeah, you know learn what I'm saying? That, that color, yo, that's nice, yo. I like that outfit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They already know the deal, but you, you, you got to, they like it too. They bought it. <laughs> they got to right. agree with you. <laughs> a proper compliment is uh, a compliment on something that they control. You know what I mean? So uh, a compliment on their body is not so much a compliment because everybody can do the same workout to eat the same and their results will be different. Your body is different. You know what I mean? Um, you can compliment progression, but that only works if that person has, knows you've been there along the journey. You know what I'm saying? So you can compliment progression. Uh, that could be a compliment, but compliment like abs and all of that stuff most of the time most of the time is uh and it's an improper compliment um because we i feel like we know how to do it because i could like i compliment the guys too like well you got the guns you know what i mean like i could compliment i could compliment pretty much whatever but i don't have no intention so most people can't do that <laughs> most yeah. people can't do that and, and but I definitely I know, had the. Uh, oh, go ahead, Trey. I definitely had the the stalker ass. You remember the John with the wig and the red lipstick? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, I I would like wait till she moved before I go to the next. You know what I'm saying? Before I go to the next section, type like we did. I did like, I, I, it's some that's like yeah, oh, like oh, women creep too. The women, you talking about the one that too. was on the bikes and stuff all the time when we was in the front? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Women be creeping too, bro. <laughs> yeah, sir, yo. And we, we about to get a wrap up on this topic. We got G. He going to get ready to load up the next video <clears throat> and everything right. for us. But um, before hey, G, we... He would be quiet all night either, bro. <laughs> before, we, before we get to the next subject and everything, yo, anybody final thoughts? about this topic uh, that we just talked about. <laughs> uh, you build your confidence up, man. When you build your confidence, that a lot of this outward stuff doesn't affect you. 
uh, you're able to talk and approach people. You're able to talk and approach people and you're able to be approached. You can take things as a compliment, which would seem creepy. You know, thank you for looking at me. You know, um, you know, uh, like like the lady said, like you can kill them with a smile. Kill them with a smile all the time. Man. I do it all the time. Like if, if somebody creeping, I can give them a smile. I can give them the dap or the pound or some, and, and just keep it moving. And uh, small interactions like that usually de-escalate a situation before it even starts. So take the power away from the situation. You know what I mean? If you're really feeling like you're, if somebody creeping, then you should know your gym well enough to where you can tell somebody or have somebody look out for you or just leave. Like, just leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, you that, if you're that uncomfortable, it's plenty of other gyms. And I don't want that to be like, oh, everybody's running me out of the gym type situation. But if you're really that uncomfortable, then take yourself away from the situation, man. I, I would say true. I, I would say um while we wrapping this up and, and do you loading up the next video, right? Yeah, I just wanna give um shout out to uh everybody on Rumble, man. We're officially on Rumble. Oh yeah, shout yeah. out to Rumble. We're gonna start, What's up, Rumble? We're gonna start uh give us give us some love, man. If you don't have a rumble, go ahead and make one and make sure y'all follow us on there. They don't do subscribers, so you gotta follow us on there. It's the same thing, FML podcast. On Rumble, man, we're gonna we're gonna start uploading more on there because we have a little bit more freedom on Rumble. So if you ever if we go too far <laughs> one day, just know that we went to Rumble. We probably got canceled on YouTube. <laughs> Rumble, Rumble is what they call that. They say it's, it's, it, they ain't no beta nothing on there. You can say what you want on Rumble, so it's a little bit different. So we can talk we want to on there. So make sure y'all go follow us on there. We appreciate everybody looking and, and follow us on YouTube too. But go ahead and subscribe on both of them, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I would say that uh, for my final point with uh, this this topic, um, I would say, uh, I, and I know the point was, is the recording stuff, is that hindering or hurting women in the gym in, in particular? Yeah. And I would say, I would say, uh, I don't, I, from my experience, no. Um, but also, you know, it could, it could have an impact. I don't think it should because just because somebody turned you down, that don't mean you should just stop doing it for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's just how I operate. Just because I had a bad experience with one woman in the gym, that's not gonna stop me from helping or talking to somebody else in the gym. Um so uh to kind of go back to that point, I don't I don't think it is and I don't think it should. Um, but I do think women should be more open and more understanding to like yo like some guys just can't approach and some guys just want to admire you from afar and i know it might be a little creepy or whatever but if you feel unsafe or unsure like you, like trey said you can remove yourself from the situation you could tell somebody whatever you don't got to run the social media because if you do that you mm -hmm. are looking for attention you know right. what i'm saying and and i think from what i've seen in a lot of the, from those type of videos the people going in on the woman recording the guy you know what I'm saying? They like, yo, you should be here focusing on your workout. Why are you focusing on him? He won't even stand at you like that. So I don't think it's I don't think it's having an effect, and I don't think it should have an effect on like uh that situation where the lady was stuck. I would have thought she was just doing a workout. If she ain't saying <laughs> I'm not gonna you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, oh, that's a new workout. You know what I'm saying? Unless she was saying help, I would have let it go too. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's these situations is different, you know, but I don't think it should, and I don't see uh, from my experience. Um, but I'm not in the gym a lot either. I, I'm more outside with my workouts. I don't see that mm -hmm. uh, be, becoming a big thing as of right now. Yeah. No, I agree with you, Paul. This uh, film, you know, the woman filming dudes looking at them is it's some little shit, and then like you said. It's